freaking sweet. Hi my loves, thank you guys for joining me today. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Julie. I make videos on psychology, spirituality, personal growth, and relationships. So if any of these topics interest you, please subscribe and click the bell button below so you guys don't miss a video with me. Okay, so today's topic is gonna be on the six universal human needs. The reason why I wanted to discuss this topic is because, as I've always said it, awareness is key. Whenever we wanna make a positive change in our lives, it all starts with awareness first and foremost. So I hope to bring you guys a better understanding of yourselves through these needs, as well as understanding of other people. Before we dive into all the needs, I just want to say a few things. First, we all have these six universal needs, but there are two that is your primary driver and everyone's is different. So for example, my two primary needs are significance and growth versus yours. Maybe yours is certainty and love and connection versus your mom's or your dad's. Maybe theirs is contribution and uncertainty. So basically everyone has their own unique set of primary needs. The first need that I already kind of mentioned is the need for certainty. This is a survival need, okay? This is the need to know that you can avoid pain. This is the need to know that you will be safe, that you will be comfortable, that you will be secure, okay? Now, people with these needs, they hate surprises. They hate last minute plans. They like everything planned out. They like to know what is coming up for them next. They wanna be sure that they can avoid pain. So as you can imagine, people with primary needs of certainty. They may choose the typical nine to five job that is guaranteed, you know, health insurance that is guaranteed that they get paid a specific amount every month, every year. Everyone meets these needs differently. So my definition of how meeting my certainty need may look completely different according to your definition. So I'm gonna dive into examples of how people meet their need for certainty. So a positive example may be exercising, planning ahead, or spiritual beliefs, believing in God. Uh, another one is rituals. Rituals can be positive or negative where, for example, like this can be my favorite shirt and I wear it before every exam because it brings me certainty. Uh, a negative way is through drugs like cigarettes and alcohol. The second need is the need for variety. These people have the need for change stimulation they like adventures and surprises one way a person can meet their variety need is maybe going to different restaurants every weekend trying new foods or someone that travels around a lot i definitely cannot see this person working at a nine to five job maybe this person is an entrepreneur the third need is the need for significance it is actually one of my primary needs hello <laughs> so these people love to feel special they like to feel important they like to feel significant and valued and respected by others they hate I mean hate this is one of my things I hate feeling like I'm following the crowd I hate um, doing things that other people are doing they like to be, feel unique they like to feel like an individual A positive way to meet your need for significance could be through um, anything of performing arts, this person might want to be a public speaker or actor or a dancer or a YouTuber. Or you might meet your need for significance by dressing different, you know, having tattoos everywhere, having crazy hair colors or unique outfits that make you stand out out of the crowd. A negative way to meet your need for significance may be through violence. One example would be bullying. So a lot of kids that bully at school, they might have their primary needs may be significance because when you're a bully, you are significant in the people that you bully in their lives because they're constantly worried about where the bully is at, what the bully is gonna do next. Are they gonna take my lunch money? Are they gonna embarrass me in front of everyone, you know? So it makes the bully, despite it being negative, it makes them feel important, it makes them feel somewhat respected, even if that is coming from a fearful place. One really good example that Tony Robbins used in his TED talk is if a person runs up at, at you and puts a gun in your head, how significant is that person with the gun? 
You best believe that if someone has a gun in my face, that is the most important person in my life currently at this exact moment. So you can imagine that a lot of um, violence, criminal type of activities come from people that may have significance as their primary need. The fourth need is the need for love and connection. These people they need to feel loved and to give love and they need to feel connected to the people around them. These people are very generous, very sensitive people. Sometimes they spread themselves too thin. They're very people orientated. They like being there for their loved ones. A downfall with this need is that sometimes these people base their self-worth on whether people love them or not and whether they feel like there is a connection in their life or not so you can imagine that they do get really sad if they feel like they're not their love is not getting reciprocated so as i've said before there is a negative way to meet your need and a positive way to meet your need now there's also a short-term way to meet your need and a long-term way to meet your need so i'm going to give you guys an example with love and connection I need love and connection, so I'm going to go on Tinder or I'm going to go to the club and find someone to have a one-night stand with. Now that is an example of me meeting that need in a short-term way. Instant gratification, instant satisfaction, so it feels good. But what happens the next time I need love and connection? Well, I'm going to go this go down the same route. This is how bad habits are kind of built through the short-term route. but the long-term route, I can meet my need for love and connection by actually investing my energy, time, and money to a partner that I see a potential future with. So I get to w sleep with that person and wake up the next morning with the same person. And it's a constant supply of love and connection. I hope that you guys can see that when you meet your needs, in the short term, you kind of build bad habits. You kind of build negative patterns that keep repeating. The fifth need is growth. And this is actually another one of my primary needs. It is the need to grow. It is the need to improve yourself, yourself spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, holistically. These people like constant growth. They love learning, they love learning new skills, they love developing their old skills. These people, they like to spend a lot of time on their own just researching or reading and doing things that make them feel like they are growing, that they are learning. These people hate feeling stagnant. They have to feel like they are constantly moving. On the positive side, these people are very motivated and driven people, but on a negative side, they tend to neglect their relationships and family and friends. Because they're very self-focused, they are not afraid to cut off anyone that feels like they are, that are dragging them down or that feels like it's getting in front of their growth. Lastly, our last need is the need for contribution. Now, these people have a need to give, to help, to contribute to bigger, something bigger than just themselves, to the world. They are natural givers. One job that I can think of is teaching. Teachers are wonderful. They really do make the world a better place. I definitely can see someone getting meeting their need for contribution through teaching, as well as other areas like actually volunteering, working for a nonprofit company. Um, also something as small as literally just giving money to the homeless when you are out. That is meeting your need for contribution. Now that we went over all six needs, I hope you can identify which two primary needs are yours. Please let me know down below, comment. Also, I wanna say that if something meets three or more needs at a time, you are hooked, girl. Now, let me give you an example of this, okay? So let's say in this situation, my coworkers, I got a new job, my coworkers asked me to go party and go out for drinks after work, right? So that thing in this situation is alcohol. So I'm gonna drink because one, it meets my need for certainty, certainty that I'm gonna have a good time. Two, it meets my need for love and connection connection that I through alcohol I'm going to be able to connect with my coworkers be more open tell them share stories with them and three alcohol may meet my need for growth 
because let's say I'm a shy person. So for me, what growth might look like is being confident, having that liquor courage to go up to strangers and talk to them. In this situation, alcohol, I'm gonna be hooked on alcohol. So every time I go out, I'm gonna rely on alcohol to meet those needs of mine. Now I want you guys to play close attention because this is very important. It is not about whether you're gonna meet these needs or not, because you're gonna meet them. Whether you're aware of it or not, you are going to meet these needs. The question, the right question is, how are you gonna meet these needs? Are you gonna meet it in a negative manner or a positive manner? Are you gonna meet it in the short term or the long term? So take a few moments to really self-reflect and bring awareness to the current habits in your life, the people that you have in your life, the occupation that you are in, and understand what really drives you, what really fuels you to keep repeating these patterns. And if you have these negative habits that you're addicted to, identify the three or more or two needs that that it's getting fueled with and change that to something positive because now that you have the tools you can do that as always it was a pleasure making this video for you guys i hope you guys learned something valuable today please comment down below what your two primary needs are because i would love to know as well as some some, some self-reflection you know i'd like to know how these needs fuel you in your life and you guys are welcome to comment down any ideas that you may have towards what other videos that you'd like to see on my channel so if you like this video like it and if you liked me subscribe thank you guys for watching my videos Mwah! love you guys so much and see you on my next one